Hi, I'm Dr. Kurt Wooler. I want to talk to you about the comprehensive digestive stool analysis from Great Plains. Now, I've been using Great Plains for many, many years in my practice. And one of the first tests I do, in addition to the organic acid test, is the comprehensive digestive stool analysis. Now, the CDSA, it's called, uh, is a very comprehensive panel because it not only looks at bacterial levels in the digestive tract, healthy bacteria as well as pathogenic bacteria, um, but it looks at a culture for yeast and then other assessments as well. The parasite section is important um, as well as the other digestive markers are important to get an overall assessment of what's going on in your patient's digestive system. You know, far too many people assume that just because there's a lack of digestive symptoms that there isn't a need to test. And I found over the years that many kids and adults as well who don't have a lot of digestive problems or at least outward signs of it, many times will have underlying infections or markers of inflammation that are present. Um, parasitic infections are very common. Giardia, blastocystis hominis, cryptosporidium are very common things that I have found over the years by doing stool testing. Looking at bacterial levels, um, many times finding things like Klebsiella or Oxalobacter um, can also be you know, ind indicators of an underlying dysbiotic condition. The looking at intestinal bacteria, the healthy bacteria is important to try to get an idea of you know, is your patient taking probiotics? Are they not taking enough? Do you need to switch it up to looking at something else? The yeast culture is important because many times we don't know exactly what treatment works for a particular yeast you know, problem, um, particular candida problem and other yeast. And so when you actually detect candida on a stool test, they can do a sensitivity to it. Not only looking at what antifungals would be helpful, nystatin, diflucan, nizoral, but herbal remedies as well, which gives you a better range of treatment options. The digestive markers are important, particularly things like the lysozyme and lactoferrin. I often find those elevated in kids on the autism spectrum, but I've found them elevated in adults as well because they give an indication of intestinal inflammation. And of course, other markers with respects to fat staining, um, carbohydrate you know, metabolism, pancreatic output, you know, enzyme output issues are another important assessment as well. Looking at pH, looking at blood, seeing if there's acidity problems in the gut. I've actually had kids I've tested where their, their stool is so acidic it actually burns and irritates the rectal tissue. Again, you want to do a stool test to find out, do, are we dealing with some type of infection? Are we dealing with a yeast overgrowth? Do we have any evidence that there might be inflammatory problems occurring in the gut that needs further assessment, sometimes from a gastroenterologist. So don't forget about the comprehensive digestive stool analysis as an overall digestive assessment tool for your patients. It's also a powerful thing to put together with Great Plains' organic acid test. I commonly do the organic acid test with kids on the autism spectrum or patients I'm working with with mental health disorders because the biomarkers for yeast and the biomarkers for bacteria many times can be cross-checked with what you find in the uh, comprehensive digestive stool analysis as well. So those two things are a great combination that can be implemented in your practice um, to really broaden the evaluation for gut problems and the, the treatment options that you have for patients. Okay? Thanks.